and welcome to I Love the Library. My name is Lisa Tran and I'm the Public Services Supervisor here at the Detroit Lakes Public Library. And today I'm going to be talking about some of our new books that we have in our collection. The first book I'll be talking about is The Final Deception by Heather Graham. This is the fifth and final book in the New York Confidential series. However, according to reviews, you can read it without having read the other books in the series. A serial killer has escaped, and FBI agent Craig Fraser teams up with psychologist Kieran Finnegan to hunt the serial killer down. Craig and Kieran begin to suspect that others are getting drawn into the serial killer's web of deceit. Craig and Kieran have everything to lose, but they must become smarter and bolder to end the madness of this. And will they succeed? Find out in the final deception. The next book is the Library of Legends by Janie Chang. It is a fictional book, but it is based on history. In 1937, China was bombed by the Japanese during the Second Sino-Japanese War. When the bomb fell on the city of Nanking, Hao Lian and the classmates of the Ming Hong University were ordered to flee and take with them the Library of Legends. The Library of Legends is a collection of 500-year-old books that were full of myth and folklore. These books were definitely very interesting and part of their culture. And while journeying, it became clear that Lian was maybe not the safest with the group of the students based on her family secrets. She must leave the group and find her mother rather than continuing to journey with them. However, her potential love interest slash friend, Xiaomi, and his maidservant Sparrow decided to join her. What were their reasons of joining her? That is a fascinating mix of history and myth. The next book is Above the Bay of Angels by Rise Bowen. Isabella Waverly is an unhappy servant who loves to cook. When comforting a dying woman, she finds an invitation of employment to be a cook in Buckingham Palace. When thinking of bettering her future, Isabella decides to take a risk and become the dead woman, Helen, and take the job at Buckingham Palace. Helen becomes one of the queen's favorite cooks. However, being a queen's cook does not mean that it's not dangerous. Blackmail and murder occur, and Helen slash Isabella is in the thick of it. One would enjoy Above Bay of Angels if you enjoy food, mystery, and history. Speaking of history and mystery, American Cuisine and How It Got This Way by Paul Friedman. It is fascinating to consider the question if there is truly an American cuisine. Friedman considered this question and has decided that it does exist. This book underscores Friedman's three recurrent themes of American cuisine. These themes are regionality, standardization, and variety. Learn more about food history and get some tasty recipes while reading Friedman's take on American's food. Next is Everything Chocolate by America's Test Kitchen. So I love chocolate. So I saw this book on the shelf and I was like, I have to talk about this book. This book has me craving chocolate whenever I was flipping through it. The beginning is full of information about chocolate, such as Dutch processing cocoa, bar versus chips, and from bean to bar. From there, the rest of the book is chock full of delicious looking recipes, such as thin chocolate mint cookies that look kind of like thin mints, the, the Girl Scout cookies ones, chocolate zucchini cake, vegan fudgy brownies, and of course, whoopie pies. From classics like chocolate cake to new desserts such as chocolate matcha and pomegranate tarts, you are sure to find whatever form of chocolate you love. And lastly is Biblio Style by Nina Freudenberger. It's such a fun book for book lovers. Travel the world and take a peek into other people's personal collections of books. Each featured collection has a little bit of information about the person who lives there and their collection. It is a visually beautiful book, and it's a really fun one to glance through. It's a nice change of pace to see that book collections can be beautiful, even if they might not be considered the neatest. One of the quotes that I reflected this well was from Pierre Letan. In his quote, it was saying, any semblance of organization in his Paris library is an illusion. In the pictures of his collection, it looks fairly well organized, but apparently it's all an illusion, but it's a beautiful one. We hope to see you at the library soon to come check out these books. We are open. Thanks for watching. I love the library.